It felt just like a normal work day, but I should have known my feelings could never be trusted. Dangerous discoveries, dilemmas and delusional decisions awaited me that night. For the first time, I didn't think ahead. I didn't see the plan. I couldn't see who I would become. Have you reviewed the fraud case yet, Marie? Are you doubting my abilities, Mr. Murray? Your words, not mine. Yes, I've read the case. I know it inside and out. Thank you very much. And considering we're arresting him tomorrow, I would have thought that was a given. Not necessarily. Have you not reviewed the case yet? What does it look like I'm doing now? You're not even reading it. False. Just finished. If you say so. Are you doubting me now, Miss Scarlet? Hey, your words, not mine. You know, my brain has always been capable of the impossible. All of it's secure up here and always ready for access. But my heart goes out to you. It must be terrible having to live with your feeble little mind and so humiliating, always falling short of my greatness. You're a strange one, Alan Murray. Where do you think you're going, madam? I haven't dismissed you yet. For a man who claims to have such good attention to detail, I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. As a matter of fact, I did notice the bold lip choice. I just never thought you'd find someone to go out with. Night, Alan. This was a murder I could admire. They'd hidden their tracks extremely well. There were no traces of evidence at the scene, or so I thought. So? A woman. Sorry, what? It's a woman. We're both looking at the same guy here, right? I'm clearly not referring to the dead man. The murderer was a woman. Do you see men running around these days in heels? because the only person I see who fits this description is a woman. But feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. All right, okay. So have you found any DNA to identify this woman? Who do you think I am? Sherlock Holmes, I've only been here for a few minutes. I guess I expect too much from you. It was then I felt something was very off. This time, my feelings could be trusted. Do you know who this is? No, who? Jesse Jones. Wait a minute. Didn't we pin this guy's name to the fraud case this morning? Yes, quite odd, isn't it? I'll have a look for that DNA evidence you mentioned. Maybe it will help us uh, connect the dots. Good idea. I'll come this side. Was it merely a coincidence that Jesse Jones was shot dead the night before we planned to arrest him? At that moment, I wished I'd never had such an incredible memory. How could she have done this? I needed to hear it from her myself. I can't find anything over here. Have you found anything yet, Alan? No, not yet. You know, I'm finding it quite difficult to see over here. It's probably the dark lighting. Maybe it'd be more productive just to come back and investigate the area in the morning. I'm struggling to see too. Let's call it a night, hey? Come back in the morning. 7 a.m.? Yeah, I'll see you then. See you later, Alan. Bye, Mr. Lawrence. I thought I knew her, but she had betrayed my trust. I figured I'd be able to get the truth out of her if I confronted Marie by myself. Midnight. I know you did. Don't 
what you're talking about. You think that's me? Every girl owns one of these nowadays. Not this brand. You showed it to me earlier this evening, so quit your act, Marie. You're wearing the same shade right now, so how can you expect me to believe that this is not yours? Alan, you don't know what he did to me. What, he stole from you? That's no reason to... He stole my innocence! I didn't know what to think. I was conflicted. Should I turn her in and lose everything we have? Alan, please, where are you going? What are you going to do with the evidence? What evidence? 